How y'all doing? My name is Plastic Overkill. Welcome back. Middle Earth. Shadow of Mordor. Okay, we got some new weapons. Now all we need is something to test them out on. Like this. Here we go, got you down, and there's a hunt archer up here. I just realized that. Okay, that's a good okay, so mm. yeah, I forgot hunting thing, so let's see. Oh what was that? Yeah. Hunting thing. What's this? Queen of Shores, cover the Queen more Unknowns. So first off, actually, I gotta run to the dwarf, which is. Sake, what are y'all running, standing around for? Okay, what are y'all standing there for? Hello. No. Need to get better at making weapons. My blade's gone dull already. I only used it to kill seven slaves today. So what y'all 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 are just standing here? I can make for the hills and be free. Doubt. Those hills are crawling with grouts. They'd have you for breakfast and no mistake. Are you are y'all just really just sitting here and doing nothing? God dang it. What you wimp? <laughs> Bunch of wimps. And dead. Yes. 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 Yeah. You know what I reckon? I'm just recording. Every single one of you maggots. You ain't the only one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet I hate you more. We'll sort out our challenges when the war's won. Until then. Yes, I can. Watch this. Poof. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Okay, I did say... Did I break the game? There we go. I was like, what's going on here? To actually break the game. That's weird. Okay. Off we go. Yeehaw. Something like that. Straight line, that's all. Please let there not be like some kind of water monster that I don't know about. That would suck. If all of a sudden my Karagor gets eaten through, by, through the river. <laughs> Run by Munch. claims to know oh the dwarf this dwarf claims to know the location of more artifacts from I'm gonna try to say this one because I, I know I've heard a lot of it but I've already forgotten how to say his name Kellem Kellebrimbor past shouldn't see me shouldn't hear me it's a clean kill None of them is going to go to waste. They're going to use your bone for weapons? Cool. Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake. We have a captain in our midst. Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And Make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? That Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. Oh, the largest one I ever came across. Prepare. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guns. I. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. He's like, you are, you do not know the what I can do. Hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting: do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank 
All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. The cargos, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargos. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? And the hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag, like my wife. <laughs> Ooh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on the Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose, then? Why don't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. Counter- Oh, Karagor, which will always leave it stunned. He's already mount stunned Karagor. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly how to do this, then. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Let the bastard charge you. You're not gonna mount a Karagor on your first try. Took a few scars to protect my method. When's the triangle thing gonna come up? Retry. Apparently, stand your ground. I'm dead. <laughs> I said, I said retry. Try again. So I that didn't. One over there can't. Quite aggressive. Don't even try. Yes, I already understand that. Simple. Here we go. That's about the same time it took me to take one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Seems depressing. Of course it is. Called Black Gate for a reason. Let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. Keep your eyes open, says the captain. Just in Hunting and learning for long, dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a spice to the hunt. Sure, you can ride a caragor, but can you shoot from one? You take him up high. Leave the ground dogs to me. The world was young, the mountains green, steam yet on the moon was seen. No 
words will make them stream or stone when Duran woke and walked alone. So name the moon as he was a devil. He drank from heaven and tasted well. He stooped and looked at Miriam and saw a crown of stars appear. Above the shadows of his head. Running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the ground, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they... Toss me into the rocks below. How many girls did we kill yesterday? Or content party! Corbin is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf! Torvin needs help. <laughs> What does riding Karagors have to do with killing Graugs? All these questions, Captain. I thought you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Underrespect the beast. You're gonna need size and strength to fight the mighty Graug. Remember, on the hunt, respect is earned. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll even call you sir, eh? <laughs> Uh, is that it? Really? That was it? I thought I was gonna kill a grog. Front one. Okay. This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. Okay, I'm gonna mount you again. Okay. <laughs> Where's your more has more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white gro oh Hey 
Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, again. We're going to have to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white grog. What the heck? Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. No, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. He gave me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> okay. Are we not hunting? So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? So you shall, but not just any crowd. This is a rare one. It's territorial, strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a crowd before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Grogs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Grogs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Take a behind the beast and press square to bleed it. Bleeding the grog will cause massive damage and attract caragors. Oh! I was detected when I was standing behind it and I was pressing square. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. <laughs> yep, figured. How the heck? There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. I did say move, you stupid little end. man. Okay, I can't really move. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Caragors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride.
Gotta go for speed. Gotta go for speed. Are you kidding me? Wouldn't it that the arrows bounce off their head? That crap, that crowd. Oh, okay. That makes that makes sense. Rock can attack enemies in an area, and they can also grab and eat. <laughs> Automatically, just ate him. Just walk my way there. Okay. I say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride a ground. There's nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. 
That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Hey? Oh boy, okay, so I apparently learned how to uh, ride a grog. Finally, I was like, when, I, when am I going to get to there? But I just had to follow some wily little uh, dwarf. Big dwarf, because I kind of thought dwarves were hip high. And apparently he's pretty darn... Okay, watching that kind of... Um, clipping through the hand there, people. Um, And it ain't really even going to the sheath. Yeah, actually no, it is going to, going to the sheath. Okay. Yeah, swirling around the hand without even using the fingers. I'd love that to be a great detail in the game. They, had, I don't think they're going to be doing that concern uh, another another part of the game though. But whatever. So I'm waiting to hear if y'all did like this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Maybe like this video and maybe leave a comment or two. But I will see y'all later. Y'all come back now, you hear?